Okay. Hi, Catherine. My name is Maddie, and today I will be your massage therapy student. Um, today we're just going to be going through a health history assessment, and the reason we do this is to get an accurate look at your health, and so that I'm able to provide you with the best treatment possible, okay? Um, any information that you share with me will be confidential and it will remain between you and I unless I have your written consent or I'm required by law to share that information, okay? Okay. So we're going to start with how is your general health? It's good. Good. Um, what's your occupation? I'm a full-time student and I have two part-time jobs, one that causes me to stand a lot and one that causes me to sit a lot. And sitting is the new smoking. Sitting is the new smoking, that is true. <laughs> um, okay, do you have any cardiovascular disease such as, or do you have any cardiovascular problems such as heart disease or high blood pressure or anything like that? No. No. Is that in your family? Yes. Yes. Um, do you have any respiratory issues? No. No. Is that in your family? No. Do you have arthritis? No. Is that in your family? Yes. Yes. Um, do you have any skin condi conditions such as herpes or anything like that? No. Or any other medical conditions, infections such as hepatitis? No. No? Um, do you have any hearing or vision problems? No. No. Do you have anything like cancer or diabetes, anything like that? No. No. Uh, do you ever get headaches? Yes. Frequently. Frequent headaches. Mm -hmm. Have you seen a doctor about that? Yeah. A lot of times. Okay. Good to know. Um, are you pregnant? No. No. And what brings you in for a massage today? I have a pain in the right side of my back. Pain in the right side of your back. The middle. Okay. And how long, how often does this occur? About once a week, I would say. Once a week? Quite frequently. And um, you said it was on the right side of your back? Yes, correct. Upper or lower? Like in the middle. Mid back. Higher. Yeah. Okay. And how long does the pain usually last? Um, a couple hours, I guess. A couple hours. And does the pain radiate, or does it just kind of stay where? It stays there. Stays. Um, and how often does this happen? Pretty often. Pretty often? Like, like once a week. Okay. A couple times. And... How intense would you say this pain was? On a scale of 1 to 10, 0 being no pain at all, and 10 being excruciating pain. Like a 4. A 4. Hmm. Okay. Um, what? Does anything relieve this pain? No. Absolutely nothing. Nothing relieves the pain. And what aggravates it? Standing and sitting. Okay. And how would you characterize it? Is it dull or is it sharp? It's dull. It's dull pain. And are there any other problems that you feel have occurred because of this pain in your back? Bad posture. Bad posture. Okay. So now we're going to move on to the postural assessment. During this assessment, I'm going to be touching you. There are no risks involved in the assessment. Um, the reason we're doing this is to make sure to see it gives us a better insight into whether there are any imbalances or anything within your body that could be contributing to your pain. Okay. Okay. Um, if you have any questions throughout this assessment, please feel free to ask um, and we can stop or modify the assessment at any time if you desire. So please just let me know if you want to. Okay. Okay? Um, do I have your consent? Yes. Yes? Okay. So we're just going to stand up. Mm -hmm. Over there. I'm just going to ask you to face me, relax your body, and take a few steps. Okay? Perfect. And just relax. 
Okay, so your feet look good. They are pointed the same way. Your ankles are also good. Um, your knees are good. Your patella is straight. Okay, I'm just going to touch your hips, okay? Mm -hmm. Just relax your arms. Okay, so your ASIS is even. Your iliac crest is even. This one's actually a little bit lower than this one is. Let's move your hair. Your ribs look good. These ones are actually also a, lot, a little bit lower than oh. these ones. Your clavicle looks good. It's pretty, it's even. Your cromion process. Your shoulders are a little bit off balance. This one is lower. And then your traps, so moving. This one is bigger than this one is. And if you could just face forward, relax, how you normally stand. Your head is tilted a little bit to your right, and your ears are a little bit off balance because of that. Okay, but that's okay. So if you could just face that way. Okay, your legs look good, your ankles are good. You have a good bend in your knees. Your pelvic tilt, so your pelvis is a little bit um, larger than 30 degrees. Um, if we come up here, your shoulder looks good. Your earlobe is a little bit in front of your acromion process. And you do have a little bit of a kyphosis in your upper back, which means it's that I'm the hunchback of the ocean dance. I'm not sure. Okay. But yeah, your earlobe is anterior to your knees, into your ankles. Okay, and if I could just get you to face that way and just relax again. Okay, your ankles look good. Your Achilles tendon, this one, is a little bit um, tilted medially. Your knees look good. Do I have permission to touch your gluteal crease? Yes. So do, okay, so this one is a little bit higher than this one is. I'm just gonna touch your hips again. Okay. That feels good. This one's a little bit lower. Okay, I'm gonna move your hair. Okay. Okay, yep, again, your shoulder. This one is lower than this one is. Um, your head is good. Tilted a little bit, but same as the front. Okay, if I could just get you to face this way. Again, your ankle looks good. Your knees are good. Your pelvic tilt is a little bit large, but that's okay. Um, and your ear, again, is a little bit in front of your acromion process. But it is anterior to your knees and your ankles, which is what we want. Okay, sounds good. Thank you very much. You're welcome.